It was named for the botanist on the first fleet, Sir Joseph Banks. But modern Bankstown is a long way from the leafy rural oasis it once was. It's thriving and getting ready to boom. We're expecting over the next 20 years another 30,000 residents. Making Bankstown a dynamic part of the changing face of Sydney. Bankstown was founded just seven years after European settlement, despite fierce opposition from Aboriginal clans. The Hume Highway, a train line and airport brought new industry. In 1980, the Queen decreed the old town had become a city. This is the first opportunity we have had of visiting Bankstown, an occasion we will long remember. She even turned a Sydney double-decker into a royal carriage. Soon, trains will again change Bankstown's place in Sydney. Fifteen new metro trains an hour, a train every four minutes between Bankstown and the city. The Metro's time saving will effectively move Bankstown up to 15 minutes closer to the city. There are plenty of reasons though to stay local. A giant commercial and entertainment precinct is being carved off Bankstown Airport. And next to the CBD, Little Saigon Plaza is about to open. It's an $80 million complex with restaurants, offices and a huge childcare centre. In the new Bankstown, big is beautiful and although it doesn't look it yet, within just a few months, this area will morph into Western Sydney's largest event centre, seating 2,000 people for conferences, concerts and weddings. On the cards we have uh, acts like Anzo, Carl Barron, uh, Jessica Malboys, Guy Sebastian. We want to bring entertainment to Western Sydney. Entertainer Vince Sorrenti might put his hand up. He's Bankstown raised, but laments the loss of old childhood haunts like the Hoyt Civic Theatre. Then they put a supermarket in there and now they've got this very cheap building which is just like, it's like a shed. He regularly plays around the corner at the ever-growing sports club. I often joke on stage that, you know, Bankstown Sports Club used to be in Bankstown, now it's the other way around. The club, one of the country's biggest, is building more restaurants. Plus, it's adding four floors to its hotel, doubling capacity to more than 200 rooms. The club is also building a nine-storey office tower. Right next to the M5 and M7, not far from the airport, we have Bankstown train station right opposite us, direct train straight into the city. So in terms of location, we think Bankstown's the ideal. Sometimes it just feels a world away. Sean Berry, 7 News.